I, I, you know, I never really think about the topless with a lot of, that's not my main priority, but he's talking about bugsotics. Steve Rossi here, these days everyone's afraid of being nude, but if we just embraced it, I wouldn't have to wear these shorts all the time. Plus, I'm not wearing underwear in the summer. I'm fresh as a daisy, but I'm not going to wear two layers of pants. That, that's absurd. But today I saw this girl, and then I was thinking of seeing her topless, and um, I, somehow or another I got, uh, I was listening to something on the topless. Apparently this was the z- zitgeist of the 70s was the topless. And there were movies specifically and clubs for the topless. And I don't know. I just got to thinking. We live in this culture. Everyone's just so afraid to be, be nude. But I like, I like a topless world. I like a world with... Um, fantastic women. Fantastic dances. Featuring the world's loveliest buxotics. You've only dreamed there were women like these until now. But they're real. Unbelievably real in Mondo Topless. That's exactly what I wanted. Real girls and Mondo topless. A lot of the people on Tinder I send messages to, even if they're sincere and real humans, they end up wanting you to sell you their pics. Why would I want to buy your... The, 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 every, I, I can't go anywhere without pornography looking at me. Not even me. I can't even avoid pornography. I'm just trying to do some research on the topless, and now Mondo topless comes out. Sometimes, though, I think, what else could they do with the topless? I mean, you have the... Rings, you have tattoos, you have bathing suits, but they've been around for so long. I mean, haven't we really explored all the angles of the topless, or is there some something I'm missing? Yes, for the very first time, you will hear actual on-the-spot recorded tapes consisting of sensitive comments and opinions by the very topless dancers wildly gyrating before your eyes. Holy shit. Interviews while gyrating? Uh, I would love an interview, actually, while getting... If I'm getting a lap dance, I can't just be quiet anyway. I think I'm usually conducting an interview. I think that's why I've gotten to take a lot of my lap dancers home. But with all this wonderful topless, isn't there a downside? Even if it does excite them, this is good. Certain dances they say aren't sexy, and I don't know how they can say that. It's ridiculous. As I furthered my research into the topless, I came upon the lovely Pat Berenger. Pat and I had a great discussion over whiskey and hot dogs and... She decided that she would like to uh, show me. Revving up on runway number one is bumptious Pat Barringer, a magnificently configured female skilled in the art of the topless. Well, that's Pat Barringer. Let's see who we have up next. Ready to entertain you is Buxotic Darlene Gray, England's answer to the biggest and the best. What do you say, Darlene? No, I don't wear a breath here to bed. Wonderful, Darlene. Be around anything green and have a feeling of sensation run through my body only because it, it is a feeling of nature. It is a feeling of freedom. You're an idiot. You have a feeling of green inside you, okay? I once left a hospital and I had to buy a woman a bra. Not a exotic, but still. She told me to go buy a bra and I didn't... I went to Victoria's Secret. I, I didn't think that Target or uh, other places have a bra. She needed a bra for just for the support. And she sent me to buy a bra with no guidance. And so I went to the mall and I found myself in Victoria's Secret surrounded by bras and a few thongs. I did bras everywhere, to the ceiling, to the floor, every direction. And I'm thinking, all these bras, these, these are breast covers. I'm in a breast cover store. One day breasts will be in these bras. Unless you are skilled in the art of the topless. But I didn't know what to do. And so I'm telling the, the, the staff there, obviously, is looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, this is... They tell me which bra to buy after I explain what I thought she needed. And it's like $50. And I'm like, this little piece of... And I could have grabbed a handful. It had been 50 thongs and shoved them in my pocket. You're telling me i got to pay $50 for this br- breast cover? But I did. Well, I put it on a, they're like, you want to open up a Victoria's Secret credit card and pay later? I'm like, pay later, yeah. And so I did that. And I get these letters to this day, this was 2015 from Victoria's Secret, asking for their bra money, trying to make deals with me. Uh, Mr. Rossi, if you uh, give us 20 bucks, you're, you don't have to pay for any more bra, the rest of the bra. Well, fuck you. I don't have the bra. That crazy person has it. She was a crazy person. She wound up suing me. 
for buying her a bra and, and taking her to the hospital after she cut her wrist. So saving her life. Covering her tits and saving her life. She was fine with me covering her tits. She sued me for saving her life. Oh, I wish I could say she was one of the finest buxotics this land has to offer. Rather than a uh, depraved cocor. Sorry, words do mean something, and I choose my words. I do love words, and no one can accuse me of thinking before I speak. One time, uh, someone asked, well, if you got three books on a desert island, someone asked me. And my first answer was the dictionary. And my friend was mad. He got mad. The dictionary? I could learn new words every day. I, 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 it would never end, memorizing that. What, what do you want? Harry Potter 7? Oh, look, he found the stone again. What does he even do? How does every how are there so many Harry Potter books? He either knows magic or he doesn't. Sometimes people tell me to breathe while I'm talking, and I get really annoyed when they do that, but someone should have just told me then. My face was blue. Whew. The topless just threw me off today. I think it's time we uh, end this. And if you need to see some topless... That's the thing on Tinder, too. Most of any Tinder match. Not any of them, but tons of Tinder matches. Usually the hotter, too. They, uh, you know, even if you build a rapport, they're, they're, they're real people. Sometimes you think they're robots. Like, how was how this person built in a the lab? They have nothing to say, but they look great. And But then uh, you talk to them, and eventually they want to just sell you their pics or meetups. They'll do meetups. you got to use a cash app or a PayPal or something from the future that I'll never figure out. Pics. I want to... Actually, you know what? I'm not really too interested in anything but uh, selling my pics. Oh, really? Well, me too. Let me just spread my ass for you and send you a pic, you stupid... I can't go anywhere. Pornography's everywhere. Do you know there's a category of pornography called clothed? Clothing. Clothed pornography. That's like my depression capsule. If you have a depression pill, that's the idea of the sketch in a couple episodes, if you want to call them that, ago. If no one got the idea of the sketch, the idea is all these depression pills that are supposed to make you good, feel good, all the side effects are terrible. So if you create a pill that's supposed to cause depression and it doesn't work and you have all the side effects, wouldn't they be joy, laughter, giddiness, sexual arousal, regular bowels, no loss of hearing or vision, anything else? Oh, to be skilled in the art of the topless. I feel like I have a lot more on the topless, but I, I actually sat down to say something else. And I'm going to stop this and get that idea down because that's actually a, a joke idea and a much richer idea. I can't go on stage with a recorder and start talking about the topless. Well, I could do that, or I could just sit here and do it to no one. You know how many funny things I say to no one? Actually, the funniest things are the things I don't even say to myself. The things I do that don't, I don't tell anybody and they, like, I don't even say out loud to myself, that's actually the funniest shit I do. You have to catch me doing it, though.